yo, I was reading the article today. The federal government are the real criminals. And they were saying that the federal government's only in for the banks. The feds, they only regulate banking shit. They don't help you. They only help them. <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds about right as far as I'm the government. You're right. Keep on going. I'm listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> Break it down. Yeah, keep on because <laughs> that, that's, that's them. Yo, they step in, they make regulations, they do this, they do that, they cutting rates, they they, they, they stimulating the economy. They ain't gave you no money. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You At did all. taxes, you did taxes. <laughs> we saying it's $100 in circulation, we're going to put $200 in circulation this year, and then we're going to let you spend it all back with the big corporation, a.k.a. the plantation. Right. And and, and, and and then, you know, exactly. y'all motherfuckers can be happy that you still broke. You feel me? Come on, man. Nah, you're totally right. Come you're, on, man. You're totally right. They crazy. AKA. AKA Plantation in 2020. <laughs> the, 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 the 2020 Corporation is the 2020 Plantation. It is. My girl said, oh, man, you can't say it like that because people be thinking you talking to one uh, race of people. I said, even white people think it's the it's the slavery. <laughs> yeah. I said, they know I ain't, this, this ain't no black thing. Yeah, this right. this reach across the world, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they got you coming in for 40 hours a week. You got to ditch your family for 40 hours a week. Can't even have your kids uh, breakfast ready when he go out to school. Or or, or 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 having something, you know, uh, you know, some food for him when he get off, cause you got to send him to aftercare and this and that, cause you trading time for money, you know, and then you you did that for forty hours a week, for for uh, for forty years of your life, kid up and grown. Now you ain't even got time to do the things. He, he you know, he grown. Yeah. You know what I mean? Much. You got to ask the boss, yo, can I take off today? Uh, little Johnny got a soccer game. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Get out of here. You must be crazy, man. Hey, come on, man. What I look like asking a joke. <laughs> like, come on, man. What Biggie say? My life in that man's hands. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Right. Come on, man. You crazy. They wild, man. They going to give you what they can give you. Hmm. They're giving it to you, too. Yeah, if you can accept it. Mm-hmm. They accept it. The whole world accept it. <laughs> if you can accept it, it's all good. Hmm. Then, then, you want to retire 40 years later. Now, how am I going to retire? I got less than 11 years before this fake-ass uh, money currency crash. I ain't going to be 60 for another 15 years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, the money gonna crash before the economy, and the money gonna crash before I, I even get a chance to retire. How's my How's my thing looking? Yeah, that's not helping you at all. It's not helping me at all. Not only are they paying me in fake assets, talking about hey, save it up, save it up, save it up. I'm building all my fake assets up in the bank, and then when it crashes, it's like they set me up for failure. They set me up for slavery. Yeah, pretty much. They set me up for slavery. Because if you ain't got no money, you gonna definitely be on that cheese line. And that 2020, 2030 cheese line ain't going to be no joke. You ain't even can imagine that. You got all your money in cash in the bank. Imagine you, you daddy Warbucks and you doing it. And then they slam the door and that currency shut. It's over. There's nothing else left. And you on a cheese line looking stupid. Right at the beginning where you was. Where you was when you could have brought it up from there. They're going to figure this shit out. It ain't hard. I'm telling you, all you have, like I said, keep talking to them, bro. Yo, they keep said... Keep talking to them. They said 1932, if you had a kilo of gold... If you had a kilo of gold from 1932 right now, it'd be worth $4 million. It's a beautiful game to be in. I know that for sure. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful game to be in. As long as you're on the right side... But if you're on the side of the pencil with him, it's not going to work out for you. On the 
outside of who? The pencil? Mm, the pencil whipping. Yeah. Because <clears throat> they journal entries. You clocked in 40 hours a week for 40 years, and then you're going to retire. You're going to try to retire off of 40% of what you was making for 40 years that wasn't really working out, and you was crying like, oh, I got to get a second job because this job don't pay enough. And now you ready to accept, you ready to lay down and accept 40%. That's your exit plan? That's your exit plan? That's your exit plan? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, my bank, you got a 401k scam. Okay, that's your exit plan. You know what I mean? I hope not. You better get you some gold. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Stop playing. Then you just save yourself. You better get you some gold. You're totally right. It's only one way to hedge against inflation, man. Get you some gold. Gold went up 2.5% this week, last week. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's going to be out there a little bit more than that. It's going to keep on moving. You know this already. That's why we're doing it. Yeah. Because this thing ain't going nowhere. You said, when are we going to go up again? Mm. And I'm going to go up again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But you said, going to get some more of that? got enough dude on the internet asked me i'm telling him gold he telling me silver i'm telling him gold went up two and a half percent this week he told me silver got the biggest gains i'm like dog whatever you 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 must be blind but either way like don't nothing backflip like this i don't know where you can put your money at got 18 percent return this year now, where can you put your money at and get an 18 percent return yeah you're right Period, though. Period. That's this year. Yeah. Hmm. Eighteen percent return. That is crazy. It's not nothing fake about this shit. See, Carabar is a vehicle because they they not sold on the idea. You know what I mean? They don't understand saving in gold. Right. So I ain't even had a chance to present them with how we going to do that. Like how I can solve your solution. I'm a bad saver. Hey, you got $5? You know, put them, put down them two bags of Wild Wild Chips for $5 and get you a $5 piece of gold. We ain't, had to, we ain't had a chance to have that talk. Right. Because they don't understand that, yo, this is fake currency. And, yo, you crazy. I'm trying to get a million dollars. Yeah, I'm trying to get a million dollars too. But I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a, uh, I'm going to hijack some gold with my million. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm going to convert mine over ASAP. Yeah, I got to make something happen. Mm-hmm. But, you know, a lot of our people just don't understand, man. Maybe we just been broke for so long. We got that mentality. I don't know. We don't even want to talk. Well, that's what it is. I mean, that's exactly what it is. I mean, what you, what you going to do when we wasn't taught? <laughs> you know what I mean? To be rich. Uh-huh. I mean, it's a difference. See, we're in the learning experience now to where we can talk about it and be a little bit upset with it because we was never taught to be rich. We was always taught to barely get barely bake it, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And that's all that we could do. Uh-huh.